In a few past videos, you were probably noticing something in the background, or I probably hinted at something that was a little cryptic involving my carburetor. I have, I love my ISON to death. It's served me well over these past six years. It's time. It's time for a change. You know, with the distributor deleted, I can go bigger. Might as well do it. This is a Weber 3838 Outlaw. It's called that because it's both throttle plates are the same size, 38 millimeters, and they're both connected, as you can see there. We will talk about this later. Just want to give a nice little overview. I picked this up on eBay for an amazing deal. It's got less than a thousand miles on it. Now it is a real Weber, and how you can tell that is Weber likes to stamp their name everywhere. If you buy a carburetor and it doesn't say that and it doesn't have that stamp, it's not real. It also says it. It also says made in Spain, right here, and it says Weber right there on the accelerator pump and this little 27 that's the size of the Venturi's they're not adjustable so both Venturi is 27 millimeters so let's take this off oh silly me Okay, now you can just come, oh yeah, there it goes. Uh, here's the float. The needle valve. This is a filter. This is your a bowl vent. I'm suffering from a cold, so... Let's just leave that like that. Okay. Those of you who buy Weber carburetors on eBay, first things first, take it apart and check all the parts to make sure that they match with the original factory calibrations. Weber shows all their information on a page like this. This is every single factory ca calibration for every single carburetor they make. And for... The 38 DGA or DGES. We have the main Venturi 27, which is correct. Auxiliary Venturi, which is correct. Main jet, which is right in there in the bottom of the bowl. They're 145s. The emulsion tubes, which are underneath these. And I'll take this off. This is reusable. You take these off, and they're right under there. There should there should be F50s, which they are. The air corrector jets. Now that's these right here. When I pulled this off, these had 170s, and that was a the 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 lower the number gives you less air, so there's more fuel, so it makes it run richer. I might go back to them, but I put 185s in there just to, you know, start with with Weber suggestions. The idle jets are 45. Now the idle jets are on the side. There's one. There's the other. And then you have the float level for open and closed. Open is 52.5 and closed is 40. Now, here's how you do it. Here's closed. You want to take it, have it where it's dangling. There, there's open. And then you just turn it over till it drops. And then there's your closed measurement. You don't want to push on that. 
but that's the basic the the basic stuff on the inside. And here's your your venturis, which are removable, but you can't change them, so there's no point in removing them. And this thing here is your accelerator pump delivery valve, and it goes to the squirter. Now, if we flip this over, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there are two holes, one on either side of the squirter. Now, if on a 3236, there's only one hole. The other one is missing because it's a progressive. You only need one hole. For this being a, uh, a synchronous carburetor, it gets both. So we're going to put that back in. You don't want to tighten it too much, you just want to tighten it enough. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back together. Okay. Okay, that's all back together. So now, so, we're looking at it from the front. We got the filter. There's nothing there. This is the fuel inlet. This is the fuel bowl vent. Accelerator pump. Vac vacuum line that's supposed to go for... for the distributor, which I no longer have. We'll talk about this one in a minute. Once again, I said that was an idle jet. I said there was two idle jets, so there's the other one. And here's your choke. And of course your throttle. See? There's your your idle, and then you have a choke idle, which is right there. So you can adjust your choke idle. When you adjust your choke, you have to adjust your choke idle, and then you have to adjust your regular right idle. But then, if you want to adjust your fuel air mixture at idle, you got two of these damn things. You got one on either side. There's one. There's the other. Now, if this was the 3236, I only have one. It would be sticking out at the side over here. So, this is a kit by for Weber's Weber carburetors that allows you to adapt Japanese throttle cables to your car. It says in the directions if that hole is not big enough to drill it out. So it can fit a wide variety of of throttle cables. Now, one thing about this carburetor is that it has set venturis. So it has a set amount of air that can go into it. You can't, supposedly, you cannot put bring more air into this. Well, that's not true. You can. And what you do is you get one of these. This is a air horn designed specifically for this carburetor and the 3236. So I'm going to put this on. And another thing we have to talk about is air filters. The air filter that comes with this thing, in my personal opinion, is not the greatest. Yeah, it's a K&N, but the problem is, is that it goes into the side. Now, look at how much of a wall there is. So you have to have the, the, the air go in through the side of the air filter, hit this, go up, and then go up over. In my opinion, that is a poor design. What should go here is something different, where the air can go straight down, and then utilize this, and you get the full maximum capacity of this. So, first things first, I've got to put this on. Now we have a specific way that this goes on.
and we're together. And now you can see how the the air horn works. See, it's nice and smooth, and it meets right up with the mouth of the carburetor. So you'll be able to get some more air flow into this. Now, air filter. There's a company out of England called Ram Air that makes this really nice foam filter. We make them in three, uh, four different internal heights. This is 40 millimeter, which is perfect for me. And it clears the. It clears this. That's what I was hoping for to find a air filter like this where I would have air. I'd be able to have the air going straight in to the throttles and from the side and whatnot. But biggest one going right on top and also being able to have an air gap between this and in here so it that's what it would look like on the car so that's the generous overview of this Weber 38 outlaw carburetor mounting it will be soon this is Eve for Hachi signing off.